beauty and I'm super happy to be back and if you notice something different it's because I got a new camera so y'all I was working with my starter camera for probably five years like when I started YouTube and it was just frustrating me like I would have problems with the lighting with makeup videos the products don't show up like true to texture true to color so I was like oh my gosh I just need a new camera so I finally invested in a new camera I'm super motivated to film because when you film in bad quality, I just feel like your motivation just like goes down. Like it just goes down. So I'm ready to film. Today is going to be a light and airy video because it's just my everyday makeup routine. And I'm going to get back with my talk. So I hope that you guys stick around. How are y'all doing? Let me know down below what's new, what you've been up to, um, if you have any content ideas for me to film, what you think about the quality, just whatever, like let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment, and of course share this video if you really like it, and let's get into it. All right, so the very first thing I always do, I freaking love this gel. So this is the 24 hour brow setter gel by Benefit Cosmetics. This is what I use every single day before I do my brows. So I already put it on and I'm just gonna spoolie them up again but it basically just makes sure that everything is in place and all good. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my favorite eye pencil. This is it right here. This eye pencil is legit everything, guys. This is by Minted Cosmetics in the shade Brow or Later. Basically, I trace the bottom portion of my brows and I basically start to do small hair like strokes. And this pencil is legit, like perfect for this because it's so thin. Like, the pencil is super thin, so it allows you to get like those natural brow hairs. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean up my brows. Alright, and then I'm going to clean up the top of my brow. The top of my brow, I don't use concealer. This concealer is in the shade 385 by Fenty Beauty, um, but I'm actually going to use my foundation for this. So, you'll see me use a different shade for the very top of my brow. Now I'm going to go back in with my eyebrow gel just because it gives it that feathered like look and that's what I really really love about this brow gel. So I'm going to go back in with this. So next I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Now this has just been so good with like the finish of my foundation so I'm going to go in with this primer. The foundation that I've been loving recently is the Vision Cream Cover by Danessa Myricks. I love the finish. I think that it's super natural. So I always start out with a little bit and if I need to add more, I add more. But if you don't really need the coverage, like you don't need to go in with this because it's like medium to full. It's buildable. Um, it's lightweight. It's moisturizing. So I love just the finish of this foundation. So after blending this out, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Concealer. I love this concealer for like every single day use. Um, it's lightweight. It's not too, too heavy.
So I kind of wait for like this area to like dry some just because if you wait a little while it gets more like coverage in that area. So I usually wait to blend like you know this portion of the concealer because I do want that coverage there. Alright, so once everything's nice and blended, I blend it for a minute, girl. Trust me, I'll be sitting here blending away for a good five minutes. Um, but after I blend, I like to use the Laura Mercier powder in honey. I have the small one, so I'm going to go in with this now. I absolutely love this. Like, it's so finely milled, and just the finish is amazing. So I'm going to just spill a little out, and I'm going to um, start setting those areas that I highlighted. And I'm gonna highlight, also set my nose and my forehead highlight. I usually don't do this every single day, but if I wanna be a little extra, then I do this. All right, now it's time to do a little contour. So I usually go in with my Morphe Dimension Stick in the shade Effect 18, and I really, really like this. It's so good, y'all. Like, I'm telling you. And you don't need a lot. It's, like, very saturated. So you'll see, like, I can blend this out into different areas of my face. Like, I don't need that much. Then I like to go in with this little brush. I love how pointed and detailed it is and I just like to build, blend in that nose contour. Now I'm gonna go in and just blend out any extra powder that's on my face. So the blush that I'm using now is Raisin by MAC and I absolutely love this blush. Like it's so good for my skin tone. If you're like my skin tone, definitely try this out. It's like the perfect everyday blush. Next I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This mascara is not all that, but I'm gonna just use it anyway. Um, but basically I just put on mascara. I'm not a lash girl for every day. Like if I'm going out or something like that, okay, but not every single day. So lastly, I just end up finishing up with some gloss. This is like a no-name brand, quite honestly. I just like put on some gloss and just call it a day. This is like my everyday makeup look for the most part. I'm gonna take out my hair so I can look a little bit cuter than this and come back. <laughs> 